Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be talking about Jackie Lee Berry Jr., also known as Jack Lee Berry. He went missing 12-16-2008 from Terre Haute, Indiana. Endangered, missing, he is classified as Ismail White, 33, 5 foot 10 and 150 pounds. And there's a bunch of pictures on Charlie Project, so I'm going to share from there. And I'm going to show you his tattoos in a few minutes. Jackie was last seen near Fifth Avenue and Elizabeth Avenue in the White Oak Place subdivision in Terre Haute, Indiana, shortly after noontime on December 16th, 2008. This is near Park Avenue, where he had lived 12 years prior to his disappearance. The last time he used his cell phone was about 12, 11 p.m. A year before he vanished, Jackie was on probation and was not allowed to have guns in his home. He gave his two handguns to a friend, Brent P. England to keep and according to his father he was en route to england's house to collect his guns when he disappeared after that night he was never heard from again a few days after jackie vanished his van was found parked near the wabash river he left behind a son who was very close to him his loved ones do not believe he would abandon his child his family stated he was well-liked in the local area and had recently taken over his father's painting business. So the arrest. March 2009, Brent England was arrested and charged with Jackie's murder. Authorities stated they found Jackie's blood spatter in Brent's home and pools of blood in the trunk of his red Saturn sports car. Brent admitted he saw Jackie on the day he vanished and invited him into his home. He says he told Jackie he had pawned the guns and he made payment arrangements to Jackie and ja then Jackie drove away from his residence. He stated Jackie hurt his leg while hunting turkeys together and that's how the blood got in his trunk. Brent was found not guilty at his trial but I wanted to actually share with you this right here. There's three news reports on this. So I'm going to show you guys them. In other news tonight the Brent England murder trial wrapped up today with England taking the stand in his own defense the final witness to testify. Prosecutors questioned England about his interaction with Jack Berry on December 16th, 2008, the last day Berry was seen. England told the jury Berry came to his house between 11 a.m. and noon that day, irritated that England sold two of his guns. England said Berry left after about an hour, and that was the last time he saw Berry. Previously, police and state experts testified that Berry's blood was found in England's car and garage. England was charged with murder in March 2009. Closing arguments are scheduled for tomorrow morning. News 10 will be on hand to bring you the latest developments during our broadcast and on our website, Facebook. And this is another news report pertaining to the trial. to a Terre Haute man continues tonight. That's after the man arrested for the crime, Brent England, was found not guilty yesterday. Now, the verdict leaves some unanswered questions for police as they will once again need to look at what happened to Jack Berry Jr. News 10's Rondro Moore spoke with the prosecution from the case to get some answers. He joins us now live in the studio. Rondro? Well, Mark Patrice, Brent England had been charged with murdering Jack Berry Jr. of Terre Haute. Even though nobody had ever been found, the prosecution believed they had a strong case against England. Well, it turns out that wasn't the case. 
Is it public? Beagle County Prosecutor Terry Modisett says he's disappointed in Wednesday's verdict. Modisett believes not having a body could have been a major factor in the jury's decision. He tells News 10 he still believes Brent England is responsible for Jack Perry Jr.'s death. And they have no other leads or suspects. Not really. I mean, I believe that, you know, it's a situation. The charges were filed and the police, you know, brought the charges to us that everybody, uh, you know, believed that Mr. England definitely was guilty of the crimes as charged. I get this. Even though Modisett and the prosecution believe England is guilty, he cannot be retried even if they find a body. That's because of the double jeopardy law. Once he's been tried and found innocent, uh, even if he came out today and said, I admit I did it. I mean, he could not be recharged or retried. Now, Modisett does say the Barry family could sue England for financial retribution in civil court. But for now, the investigation into what happened to Jack Barry Jr. will continue. Mark Patrice, back to you. Thanks, Ron Drill. For more on the Brent England murder trial, go to our website, WTHITV.com. And another news report. Let's see what this says. The prosecution continues its case in the Terre Haute murder trial of Brent England. England is accused of murdering Jack Barry Jr. Barry Jr. went missing in 2008, but his body has never been found. News 10's Amanda Jarrett has been following this trial from the courtroom. She joins us now live in the studio with the very latest. Amanda? Mark Patrice, it's day two of what's expected to be a lengthy trial. Today, England's ex-girlfriend testified. Police also spoke about their search of England's home. England's former girlfriend says she doesn't believe he had anything to do with Barry's disappearance. However, she says after December 2008, when Barry disappeared, England stopped attending classes, stopped going to work, he moved home with his parents, and stopped driving his car. That car is the same car where police say Barry's blood was found in the trunk. Now, police also testified saying they found a box in England's garage with blood spatter. However, there was no other blood or evidence significant in England's home. The prosecution is expected to continue calling witnesses and bringing in evidence through next week. Of course, News 10 will continue to bring you the very latest from the courtroom. Back. So that is the news reports that I found on his case, and it, well, his trial, I should say. And then I'm going to share with you guys the tattoos. So this is like different looks of Jackie. And then this is one tattoo, another one. Another one. He has a lot of tattoos. So that's all his tattoos. So if you do know anything, please call 812-244-2273. Um, just trying to make sure. So there wasn't any information that I left out. I just wanted to make sure. So please, guys, if you could, um, make sure you hit the like button, comment below, and share everywhere you can, as that helps keeps cases out there. Let's bring his case back in the algorithm. Maybe somebody recognizes this case and it can bring some closure to the family because they are still looking for him. Thank you all for watching and you guys have a great rest of your night. Love you all. Sending love and light. And remember, please smash that like button.